muscle aches, headaches, toothaches, cramps. Different kinds of pain are experienced throughout life. Some people are stronger than others, however it much relies on each person's tolerance level for a given issue. But some hurts are so severe that scarcely anyone who has experienced them will ever say, it's foolish. We've listed 5 of them below. Like and subscribe to the channel to receive new content every day. Trigeminal Neuralgia It is a pain triggered by the trigeminal nerve, which is located inside the head and takes its name because it is composed of three branches, the first that innervates the region up to the eye, the second to the jaw region and the third to the mandible. The problem usually affects one side of the face and is characterized by a pain that resembles a shock with very strong intensity and short duration. Trigeminal neuralgia usually affects one or more divisions of the nerve, with the maxillary and mandibular branches being the most frequently affected. The pain can arise spontaneously or in common everyday acts, such as washing your face, brushing your teeth, talking, drinking fluids, or eating. One of the main causes is the compression of the trigeminal nerve, which, most of the time, occurs because of a blood vessel and more rarely by tumors. These pressures can damage a protective layer of the nerve, causing a kind of short circuit, which is the trigger for pain. Kidney Stone Popularly known as a kidney stone, the problem is nothing more than the formation of small crystals, usually based on calcium, cysteine, struvite or uric acid, inside the kidneys and which can, at some point, go down the ureters, bladder and urethra. The severe pain appears because of the obstruction in the urinary tract when the crystals fall into the renal pelvis and go to the ureter as it blocks the passage of urine and the kidney dilates. As the stone moves down the ureter, the cramping intensifies, but calms down if the stone's progression is stopped for a few minutes, returning to pain when it moves again. Spinal Cord Injury it occurs when the spinal cord, nerves that transmit information from the brain and are protected by the spine, suffers damage, which can come from trauma, some inflammatory disease or a genetic malformation. Symptoms depend on the severity of the injury and its location in the spine, and may include partial or total loss of movement, of arms, legs or body, temporarily or permanently. And along with the spinal cord injury, there is an almost permanent chronic pain difficult to treat and that can be attributed to the affected neuron, which enter a kind of short circuit, carrying painful information to the brain. Heart. The pain of birth can be divided into three moments, dilation, expulsion of the baby and the placenta. The first is the longest, usually lasting from 8 to 18 hours, and is characterized by rhythmic contractions, which are initially less intense and more spaced apart. As labor progresses, they become stronger and the time between them gets shorter. Contraction is a feeling of pressure that starts in the lower back and is similar to menstrual cramps. It occurs because the musculature of the uterus is contracting so that the baby can come out. As for the expulsion of the child, the moment is painful because the baby's head is pressing on the pelvic organs. Finally, there is mild pain resulting from the delivery of the placenta. Well, have you ever felt something like that? Tell me your experience in the comments below. Stay tuned to the channel to receive the notification. Like and subscribe to the channel and check out the suggested video. I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting and valuable. See you.